Good morning, everyone. It is 839 right now. Welcome back to Iowa Live. Lou and Jackie here and again, ramping up for all the fun things that are happening in September. And boy, do we have a big one coming up here in just a couple weekends. The buzz is happening yep. and there is excitement around the community as an announcement was made a while ago, but now it's getting really darn close. You can almost smell it from here. OK, <laughs> doesn't this just kind of scream <laughs> chilly uh, here in the background? We're talking about the 53rd annual ICS World Championship chili cook off. It's right around the corner. We have the president and CEO of ICS Chili and that is Scott Tolan. Thank you so much for joining us today. Good morning. Good morning. 53rd annual. This thing's been going Ooh. on for a while since 1967. Wow. Yeah, the legendary race car driver and car designer Carol Shelby actually mm. started the company in 1967 in Terlingua, Texas. Seriously? Absolutely. How about that? He and three of his Hollywood elite buddies decided to cook some chili in the middle of nowhere, Texas. And here we are 53 years later. Boom, Des Moines. Actually, the district at Prairie Trail in Ankeny. A absolutely. Okay, so Scott, we need to uh, catch up with some history here. I know we've talked about it a little bit on our program before, but we really want to get down to brass tacks. Why Des Moines? This is a, an event that's been all over the great country. You made a decision that this was the place. Yes, uh, when I first became the CEO in 2017, the World Championship had moved 21 times in 52 years. And it's really hard to establish yourself with sponsors, with charities, with the local community and build what we wanted to build. We're a very philanthropic organization. We have a 501c3 called Chili for Good. We've donated millions and millions of dollars to charity, Great. veterans groups, kids, you know, dogs and cats protection, things like that. Um, and so I wanted to just find a great place. So we started and we looked at initially 17 different cities around the country that had a great economic base. We were looking for a capital city if we could find it. Great colleges. The average age here or coming in is 32.4 years. Mm -hmm. We looked for a great growing foodie community, a great growing music community, a great growing brewing community in, the, in that culture um, with ciders and, and things as well. So it didn't have to be well established. It had to be growing. And we narrowed it down from 17 cities to four and then boom to Des Moines and some great folks like Greg Edwards and his team at Catch Des Moines were you know instrumental in making some really good presentations and and certainly the group out in Ankeny made a great presentation and we chose Des Moines so we're committed we moved the whole company here I moved here permanently my you did vice president moved here a president of our event management and community relations division moved here so we're we're all in you're committed I, I was gonna say <laughs> that's, a, that's a commitment level of a yeah. whole mm, another stature because yeah, yeah. uh, in all honesty you were you hail from California uh, I do. Where, you could have went anywhere yeah you could have got truly yeah. gone anywhere so I'm still trying to wrap our brain around Des Moines not only Des Moines this is where we're hosting the event but I love it so much I am moving here. well and here's the funny thing I came here first in December and it was 20 degrees below right. zero. Right, yeah. and you, you still know? do. <laughs> you think I've never seen 23, 20 degrees below zero. Well, um, you, but you mentioned those factors that, yeah. that played into account, but when you're thinking chilly, to be totally honest, you think of the Texas areas and things like that. Yeah. Why do you think it was so important to put it here? Well, I've always lived on a ranch. So even though I live in California, on the central coast of California, I've always lived on a ranch. Uh, I sold my ranch. It's actually an escrow there, but I grew up on a ranch. So here with the farming community, with the importance of Iowa beef and Iowa pork and corn and soy and just the culture. I like the fact that it wasn't a 10 million population. Right. You know, I love the fact that the culture here is so strong. The family culture is great. We're working with the Iowa 4-H groups, the FFA groups. We're working with um, Character Counts out of Drake. We're working with the Boys and Girls Clubs. So there's just this really tremendous support. And when I first was introduced to some of the folks here, they said, we're Iowa nice. Right. There's no one really in California that's California nice. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. So it just it was like such a great thing. And then I went to Winterset and I found this beautiful 45 acre farm that had never had a house built on it. So, you know, I'm building a house. I'm halfway through that. that. It's going to be done the end of September. Everything just fit. It was just. I don't know if you, when you walk into someone's home and you feel comfortable or you walk into a restaurant, and you say, this is going to be great. You know, or you just meet someone, you think I'm going to have a relationship with them in some way. When I got to Des Moines, it was, it just felt like home. Mm -hmm. And I, I know I, I do live here permanently already. I, I, I opened bank accounts. I moved a company. I brought employees. <laughs> I'm hiring other people. When can I call myself a true mm -hmm. Iowan? When, how long does it take? Have you voted yet? Not yet, okay, but I'm going to. Once you vote, you're in. <laughs> then okay, in, okay, okay. Then, then you're in. But, but that, that's very yeah. impressive, yeah. first and yeah. foremost. So obviously you plan on being here for the long haul because you said you moved 20 times in the 53 years, more than 20 times yeah. in the 53 years of your existence. But this is going to be a very uh, a worthwhile move on your part and this is going to really put you in the center of the country too. Absolutely. This is the permanent location. Mm -hmm. So we have over 300 
world-class chilies that people can taste at this event. And 300. The, the reason I bring that up is because we have competitors coming from 41 states. So this is big, and they're all coming to Iowa. You know, and a lot of them, this is going to be their first trip here. And the economic impact is going to be tremendous. And yeah, so just, just on the ICS team, we have 500 people. Coming. Just on your team. Just on our team. Unbelievable. Okay, so let's break it down. First of all, when is this happening? We heard Prairie Trail up in Ankeny, which is also a booming uh, location. Uh, why do we need to be a part of this? Uh, that sounds like a lot of chili, <laughs> sir. <laughs> We're going to need some time to it's make a our way through that. Yeah. I'll give you the quick rundown. Okay. Friday, we have a last chance competition. So really, anybody that cooks chili can enter. They Still? Just, yeah, anybody. Okay. And it's, it's fun. And we hope that all the people in Iowa that cook chili um, will come. Just go to the website, you know, and you guys can promote yep, that. Yep, or, yep. Know. It's there. It is. Um, Boom. But Done. they can just go on and go for the last <laughs> chance. And, and the reason that I, I bring that up is a lot of people say, well, you know, I cook chili, but it's not world-class chili. Right. And I, I have to say it is. You just haven't competed yet. You haven't you put it in the right competition. Absolutely. The best chili that day is really going to be just the one that, that the cooks li or the, the judges like best. That's mm -hmm. it. Then Friday night we have a big cook-off kickoff party, two big country bands. It's free admission. It's going to be, if you're in the mood to get started for the weekend, you come Friday night, boom. Because you, know? you look at the logo uh, that, that's behind us too, uh, you notice that it looks like a, a guitar, a neck of the guitar. and. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of music that's involved with this. What, you 17 bands? Yeah, Friday night we have two, and then Saturday and Sunday we have 17 more. Wow. wow. Two live music stages, so there's nothing but just music, music, music. We've got all the chili to taste. We've got, you can vote in the People's Choice, you know, competition. We've got four adult champions that'll be named, four youth champions that'll be named in four different categories. We've got restaurants, we've got food trucks, we've got vendors, we've got artisans. We've got great activities for the kids. We've got giant bars, if you like, you know, spirits, beer and wine. Um, now, what are some of the parameters of the chili that's being created here? Are there certain guidelines that people have to follow, or as anything goes? No, um, we have four categories. One's traditional red, so it has no beans in it. Then we have home style, which can have beans, must have beans actually, and can be any color. And then we have chili verde, which is typically pork based with a green sauce. And then we have veggie, no meat or mo no, no meat byproducts. So we have four adult categories and four youth and the same things. You can only prepare it on site. Okay. Right. So okay. there's a certain amount of prep right. time. That's, that's smart. Yeah. And then, like a lot of the cooking shows you see, we have exactly three hours to cook. That's okay. it. Okay. And so once we light the fires, and once we shut off the fires, it's exactly three hours. Then you turn in your, your bowl, and then it's up to the judges. And really, it's just the chili that the judges like best. So we're going to have a lot of local folks. I understand you guys are going to come. Yeah. Uh, we're part whenever of it. Whenever food's involved, we raise our hands first. Uh, so we're very excited to be there. But this truly, to me, sounds like a festival that just happens to have chili <laughs> as its source to get going. That's actually a great way to say it. You know, you'd think I'd be really protective of that world championship. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it's cool, but it's kind of the ribbon on a two-day festival of just music and drinks and fun and activities. It's great for the kids. We always say bring the kids. There's a lot of activities. And then maybe, you know, at four or five o'clock, you want to take them home. You want to put on a different outfit and you want to come back out <laughs> 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 because the bands are going to be popping. Yeah. It's going to be an epic weekend. It really is going to be an epic weekend. And go to the website. You can see all the bands that are going to be performing, too. Yeah. There's so many. But here's uh, some of the ticket prices. As they say, let's too. talk tickets. How okay, can we there be you involved? Go. Um, tickets, well, there you go on the website. Really, if you go on advance right now, there's $7, which actually includes free chili tasting. So wow. it's we're just trying to get people in. in yeah. Um, yeah, if you go on site, it's a little bit more. But it's an affordable weekend. You know, the food's affordable. The drinks are affordable. The chili, you know, for the most part, you can taste all the chili you want for free. Or you can, you know, you can buy some additional chili if you want. That's very... That's, that's a lot more reasonable than I was expecting to see on there, but you also have some VIP pricing there as well. What does a VIP get? VIP special tent, special bar, special food, and special restrooms. Mm -hmm. Which that's is always key. <laughs> yeah. Air conditioned and trailers and yeah, th that's that's the thing that the most value of the VIP ticket is that access to private restaurants. Do we have any idea how many people you're expecting? Uh, conservatively, fifteen thousand could be more. Fifteen thousand people. Could that is more. impressive. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be fun. This is so exciting, and we have to, we, we will call you a true Iowan right now, sir, because this is amazing <laughs> how you've decided this is going to be the new home for this world championship. You jumped in it the fire with both feet. Yes, yeah. and you know, winter set here I come. You know, I'm so I'm so proud to be a part of this community. Um, for me, it wasn't a great big decision once I found out about Iowa. You know, I'd, I'd been through it, but I hadn't stayed, and that happens, I guess, 
you know, a lot. Yeah. But once, you, if you spend any time here at all, I just fell in love with it. My people fell in love with it. Everybody's excited to be here. It's right in the center of the country, as you said, Lou. Mm. So for the 41 states of people traveling in, it makes it a great location. The airport is super easy to get into. Beautiful. Really, honestly, there's nothing about this community that we don't love. Hey, love that hearing is, that, that as awesome. well. Okay, so let's put up uh, that full screen of information again. Coming up, starting September 6th, running through the 8th, as you see there. Uh, this is going to be all hosted at the district at Prairie Trail in Ankeny. Of course, tickets all online. You can get all information at chilicookoff.com. All right, Scott here. We'll, we'll give you a little Iowan tip, okay? No, put your hands like this. You're driving, okay? okay? And you see somebody standing on the side of the road, maybe going to the mailbox or so. You got to okay. give them the Iowa wave. Well, no, no. Yeah, one yeah. finger. You got it. You got it. First of all, you got to move over. Right? You got to move over. <laughs> merge, merge. And, and, and then the finger. Get, there you go. Did there I get it? You yeah. got Welcome or, to or, Iowa. Or, thank you, Lou. Thank you. Or, thank you for having me. Just relax that day. You can just give him the good old. Just little. <laughs> yeah. See, he's an Iowa. Well, I drive already. a big old truck, and I know about the side. <laughs> and here we go. You but got really, it. Really, really pleased to meet We're you guys We're going to have fun. Today. Thank you so great. for being here. We'll today. see you there. Thank you. Ten